so last episode I raved about how we're going to be doing uh, the fire truck odd job this episode, but uh, as you can clearly say, oopsie, this isn't that. Um, why that is? Um, yeah, it turns out there's not many chances to get um, a fire truck to spawn in early game. Um, there is a set location, it's just on another island, so the better way or the best way to go about doing that, especially in early game, is to um, make a fire. And um, how do we make a fire in Vice City? Um, well, flammables. Uh, <laughs> turns out um, the only cases of flammables are, again, on the other island. Um, there's two cases of flammables being on the island we're currently on and are stuck on. Um, one of them is by getting 40 of these things and um, we're nowhere close to that amount and uh, the other one um, is by doing that Molotov rampage that we did last episode and um, because this session is or this episode's being recorded on a different day from um, the last episode uh, I can't do that um oh I can't take advantage of that fire truck that's what it spawned in by doing that rampage so um yeah um that's going to be postponed until we get 40 hidden packages. Um, but, um, mind you, I am planning on doing an odd job quite soon. Um, I think we might go with the Pizza Boy odd job only because um, there is something that is going to make me have to like record one ep one episode of uh, yeah one episode of something else and I'm kind of thinking that I might record three episodes of this and that episode on the same day which would leave me for or leave me an episode of this to go do an odd job so I'm thinking that that's going to be the best time for that so um, yeah um anyway uh, let's get started by doing some Avery missions Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh... The reason I was kind of hesitant on the Avery missions, um, last session, uh was because I wasn't quite sure what every mission was first, and, uh... It turns out the one I was thinking of wasn't the one we're going to be doing first. Um, we will be doing that mission next. Um, yeah, uh, just something I was a little worried about, since, um... At the beginning of that, it's going to be a little bit awkward, only because I... Oh, I am going to have to, like, readjust my position on my thingy, um. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. And, um, yeah, I guess I can touch on this now, uh. 
so I was able to get the hiccups out of um, the previous session. Uh, the way I had to go about doing that was um, by um, putting the raw footage through the base editor, or like the editor that comes with the recording software. So um, yeah. Um, that took a bit of my time, although I was able to just, like, let it go overnight, and, um... I am trying something different, just to make sure it isn't the thing I'm thinking of, or, like... Because I was recording in a high-quality, um, last session, I'm thinking that... Hopefully, that isn't what was causing the hiccups, so, um... If things look a little bit different, that's why. Um, although, if I do get the same hiccups as I did last time, or if I get any for that matter, um, I will just go with what I did last time and um, yeah, just hope I will be able to <laughs> record the thing. Um, like. Uh, just let the thing process overnight and then just like use it for um oh, then let it render my software or editor that I normally use uh, I mean it does bring in a, another step but like eh, that's fine with me um, do we need to be over here because they really don't expect you to bring guns um, Do we have to? I mean... Okay, 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 yeah. We had to go through the marker, of course. But we don't actually have to go through the um, barrier and remove our weapons, and we can just climb over the fence. Although that does mean that, um... We're going to be chased once they notice. I'll, I'll go take the caddy. Um, once they notice that we do have um weapons on us. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. But yes, uh, I finished the recording of the Luigi episode of the <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy. Um, let's play. Um. So, that was fun. Yeah, um... That mission is normally long and drawn out, but, uh, yeah! With a good throne, um... Grenade, you can... Cut the mission in half. Um... Although I do believe we are being chased. Although, um, I know there's another package around here somewhere, um, I think it's over here, because I think there might be three packages on the, um, Gulf Islands. I want to say, come on, being chased. Get the feeling it is around here. But yeah, it's going to be fun to, um... Oh good, to finally put another series behind me. Um, meaning, again, for the umpteenth time that, uh... <laughs> Pokemon Emerald is going to be the only episode, the only series I need to be revisiting. Anytime soon. Um, although I guess I might start putting priority back onto that when I finish a few things before that. Um, because there's two main channel videos that I want out, want to put out before I begin work on that. Um, can we? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that. I'll go around the long way. Um, 
yeah, two main channel videos that I want to put out before that. Um, there's one, like, another that I want to have the footage recorded for before <laughs> I put my time back into the Pokemon Emerald episodes, so it's kind of not on my priority list. Which is kind of unfortunate to say. <laughs> Although, there are eight, technically nine months of this year left, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get out an, an Emerald episode every three months, maybe? That's on the low end, I want to say. So please don't tell me the um, package is over here. I get the feeling it is. I don't think this guy's a member. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> so I want to say that if you do take a bike through the um barrier, your oh, your weapons still get taken away from you. So uh, the only way to keep your weapons is to um. Hop over the fence and, uh, you can't do that without a car. So, you know. Also, is there a stunt jump here? I mean, there could be. I'm not too sure on that front. Okay, there was a package here. Um,. There is another side to the golf course that I'm not sure we have access to quite yet, so I get the feeling that the package I was looking for um, is over there. So, um, so I'm not entirely sure if I do want to make an episode dedicated to um, stunt jumps. I think I might, only if, um, we've gone a few episodes without not having done any, which I don't think is going to be possible, or, like, I don't think it's something I'm going to be doing um, anytime soon. Only because I want to keep, like, a clean track of everything. Okay, only 8 more to 30, and then, well, only 18 more until we get to, um, Record the firefighter, odd job. Yay. <laughs> so it kind of is weird knowing that there's like two odd jobs that are just significantly better than the other than the others. Which I mean can make sense, because like not every reward is going to be a good one, but like I think you should try and least make the others, like, worth it, sort of thing. But oh well, um... I was, I was gonna say, maybe there might be a place around here to rob... All of them, I think. Um... There's going to be one more thing I take a detail for. Before we go back to um, every. And, um. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the hidden package that I always have trouble finding. Because it's around here somewhere. Um. Where it is, I am not too sure. Because I think it's on the corner of one of these fences here. And uh, there's a lot of corner fences around here, so... <laughs> yeah... Though, thank god that, um... The shadow appeared. Even though the um, package was behind the fence. I'll, 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 I'll take the fascio. Although, whenever we do get another better bike, I will... 
go visit the um, shopping center since there's a few rampages I'd like to do there that I need the bike for. Or one of them I need the bike for, the other one I just would like to knock out while I'm there, sort of thing. Also, that stunt jump that is uh, near the Malibu. Um, I'm not too sure on when I want to attempt it because uh, that is a surprisingly hard stunt jump to do. So, um, there is a bit of a crack here, so I wonder if there's an package here. <laughs> sorry for taking another did. Okay, cool, there is one. Um, yeah, sorry for taking another detail, just wanted. Oh, I was just curious, and um, my curiosity paid off. So I wonder if this Avery mission is going to be the last one, or the last thing we do in this episode. Especially if I go the long way. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, hmm. So when do I want to, when do I want to do the PCJ, PCJ playground? Huh. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm going to head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Help, help move. Okay, there we go. Um... If you're wondering why I'm not moving the camera around, uh, that's because my right hand is on the arrow keys because, uh, this demolition we're going to be doing, uh, involves flying, oddly enough. Um, hmm. So I feel like those signs over there would be a good place to hide a package. Maybe. Well, that's the thing. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's see how I fly. Although I guess I probably should have used this time now to um, move my hand over to the um, arrow keys. Oh well. Okay. Um. So this mission is known for giving some people some grief, but um. I want to say that I'm a good enough flyer in this game that I won't need to. Like, I will be able to get it done, oh, done fairly quickly. Um, hmm. Although... I think I might just take this time now to, um, get my wits about me, because, uh, it has been a while since I have flown. Um, something I would recommend doing before picking up any of the explosives is um, exploring the building, um, as it's not too apparent where the places you need to put them are. So, yeah. Um, also, when you're given or when you've picked one up, I would recommend going to the highest place first, and then working your way down. Just as a tip. Um, but yeah, you are given seven minutes, so it's like... All of the time in the world, really. Although if we consider that um, minutes are hours in this game, um, you're given seven hours to do this. by the logic of this game. Y 
Yeah, although I will say that, um, the most problematic aspect of this is, uh, the guys with guns. What button do we need to push to, um, drop these again? Although I think just getting there is going to be enough. Which button is it? Please don't tell me I'm gonna fail this because I don't know which button I need to, to press. Okay then. Um, <laughs> that's kind of disappointing. Although thankfully we're all right here, so um. I think I will cut back to when I'm at the top of the building with the explosives again. So I'll uh, see you then. Okay, I'm here. Um, I guess that's what I get for not paying attention. Um, although for some reason the button to press was, or oh, the button I could press, um, was R shift, which is. Like, what? <laughs> like, the other buttons were, um... I'm fairly sure where the buttons I'm... Oh, I've just assigned to, um... Shoot? Um... But... R-Shift? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Why is that that one? And yeah, you are given, um, like, you do have to do the return trips, and, uh, <laughs> I'm surprised how dedicated those guys are, and, um, kind of surprised how dumb they are, too, considering that, um, we're not that far away, we're just, like, across the street, in, um, a vehicle that's known for RC vehicles, so, uh, they could have put two and two together to decide that, hey, maybe the person steering this is the person in the top fan, or top fun van. Also, you don't have to be 100% accurate, you can just place them in on around the pink circles. And that should do the job. Well, I'm kind of surprised that there's no way from above, because, like, that would make getting to the top one much easier, because you just need to fly up and then just, like, drop down from above. But, like, no, we have to go around the long way. It's like, why? Did the guy just tonk at me? I I suppose they don't check for what vehicle I'm driving. Or piloting, in this case. Because like, who would look <laughs> at a plane? Although I guess I was driving kind of low to the ground. Somewhat. Although I guess it was a normal height for um, an RC vehicle. I'm getting one hell of a crap from this. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun just to get this over and done with. Which should be soonish. It's kind of just weird knowing that like people have well, people have been complaining about the Pokemon NPCs being the same <laughs> when uh. This game has the same thing, although I suppose that maybe the later GT games change that. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think this was my best time by any means, but it's alright. And 
but I get the feeling this might actually be the last Avery mission for a while, I want to say. And, uh, <laughs> like, the fuck saving the RC helicopter just to blow it up, why don't we? Although, would this let us the fire truck? Let's see. It might actually. Um, hmm? So we could be doing the fire truck sooner than I ex expected because I forgot about that. Like, I knew the um, fire truck would spawn in from doing this, but I forgot. Like, I thought it would just despawn. Um, is this a building we can buy? Because if we do, we could be able to store this vehicle, which is something I am going to have to do to keep it. Um, mm -hmm. I know there's one building we can buy around here. Or one safe house we can buy around here. That does give um vehicle storage, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. Um, I want to say it's up around and near the shopping center, so I think I might go there. Um, fairly sure the place near the um, paint spray down there is um. The police type building. So. We have a bit of a drive, no less. Um, <laughs> I really hope the safe house I'm thinking of is on this island and isn't in, um. Thing you think? Because that would then mean that we have to do this, um. Or if I want to do this without having to collect 40 hidden packages, I will probably have to do this now. So I guess if I can find the safe house then that would be a pretty good end to the video, maybe. Um, depending on um, if the house I'm thinking of actually does have storage for vehicles and um, this thing fits in it. Um, Actually, yeah, that is one thing I would say I don't really like about Vice City is that, um, you don't really have a lot of vehicle storage at the beginning of the game. Like, there's not many chances of storing your vehicles. Like, at the beginning of the game, you're not given a good place to store it. Um, this might be a bit, uh... Yeah... We don't have enough. Um... Um, so it looks like my dreams of doing this early have been <laughs> demolished again, although there is one more um, safe house around us and I'm fairly sure that one, it is in our price range, and two, um, it has vehicle storage. I think. It might not look like it. I'll, I'll just, just check and see if it is in our price range. Um, wait. I might have derped and um, we could have brought the thing we needed. Um, but I guess I'll just end off the episode here and then um, next episode um, we'll see if we can do that because it is a bit of a joke back. So um, this episode we blew some shit up and uh, next episode we might finally store this motherfucker. 
someone tell them. That's when I'll see you.